Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So, why am I standing in the rain today? Well, this is to explain what this van is, the Nissan ENV200 Voltia. So this is the extended roof, extended body electric van. So after too many failed attempts to try to record outside and missing the rain showers, I've had to uh, come inside the unit and do the rest of it inside. So Voltia make this uh, extended body for the uh, Nissan ENV200 electric van. I first, uh, met Voltia at the commercial vehicle show in April 2019. I thought it was a fantastic idea. I also got them along to the Oxford EV show I organised in the summer of 2019 and I did try to become a dealer for them but that didn't work out. Um, but at the time they were looking to open a workshop in London. I don't know whether that ever came off uh, because all of these um, up till then the, the uh, work for this, the vehicle was taken over to uh, Slovakia and done there. And this uh, example here, this is a 2017 van, 24 kilowatt hour van as well. And these are the, uh, this is one of the very first ones done. And this would have been taken over to Slovakia, had the work done and then brought back to the UK. If you wanted an electric vehicle that you could actually stand up in, you didn't have much choice back then. And actually you still don't. Obviously some newer vehicles are coming along in 2021. But for the last couple of years, you had the Voltia um, van like this. And then a little bit later came the Renault uh, Master ZE. Um, that doesn't have rapid charging though and only a 33 kilowatt hour battery yet is 53,000 pounds plus fat and you've also got the LDV EV80 uh, that's got a bigger battery pack and also rapid charging but that was 63,000 pounds plus fat so these Nissans were a much better or a much cheaper option it gave you the cargo space it gave you DC rapid charging and a majority of them are done with the 40 kilowatt hour battery pack and this uh, work um, cost £12,000 plus VAT, so the uh, resulting cost was much cheaper than the competition. So what do you get with a Voltia? Well, it's pretty obvious really, you can see it, you get two body extensions on the top and on the rear. So I've got a couple of uh, ENV200 vans here. So they take a standard ENV200 van, they top, chop off the roof, they chop off the back and add those two extensions. So um, as I said here, this is a 24 kilowatt hour van. Most of them were done with the 40s. It's just a few of these early ones were done with the 24 kilowatt hour van. So the roof extension, obviously they've chopped into the roof here, added this extension on the top that allows you to stand up in the van. And then you can have this extension on the back whereas the back would normally be here. Again, they chop off the back. There's actually a lot more involved in this than it first looks, um, because obviously you've got to mount the lights, the door hinges, um, and they've also got to extend the doors to allow the full height. The side doors aren't extended. They're the same height. They're not extended into the uh, higher roof, but the rear doors are. And then if I open the rear doors, we can see here, we've got that extension on the door. The door latches have to then go up higher and they latch up there on a new bar, um, but they're also very strong, which is quite surprising because uh, this is all fiberglass, but you've got to have some good mounts there to stop that flexing, particularly as the uh, latch is on that top section. Um, and of course, they've got to extend this floor, extend the body, redo all the door seals and latches. The bumper's different as well. Uh, these bumpers are fiberglass now because obviously the, new, the original bumper stopped there and they've got to have this new profile. Um, so there's actually a lot more to it than you first uh, would think just looking at it initially. So obviously, the standard. ENV200 has a sliding door on both sides. As I said, the door is all standard. They don't raise the height, obviously, with that. But you can still get up in OK. And once you're in, we can stand up in here. Let's just get a little bit more light in here. But yeah, I'm, uh, what am I, five foot ten, and um, I've got a good that much above my head. Um, so yeah, it's gives you a decent amount of height and actually the cargo area 
doubles. These have a 4.03 cubic meters of cargo space as the standard van. When you have the Voltia extension both top and back, that doubles it to eight cubic meters, which you really wouldn't think so looking at the sides, but it's just absolutely vast. So inside here, we can see where the original roof has been uh, chopped off and uh, we've got the uh, extension on the top. This is all made of fiberglass, but it's all pretty thick, pretty substantial. It's ribbed on the roof as well to give it some strength. Um, and then we've got a bit of rubber beading along to protect that cut edge. And then we've got space here above the cab. This has got some of that sort of um, hardboard flooring down, the same as the floor. Uh, we do have the spare wheels sitting up there at the moment. Uh, normally, obviously with an ENV 200, the spare wheel is hung underneath, but um, I'm not sure why it's not still, but they have removed the uh, um, socket there for um, the cradle. So clearly it can't uh, hang underneath anymore. So it's sat up there, or I suppose you could just get rid of it and have a, a, a gunk and a pump repair kit instead. Um, so looking at the sides, it's all fiberglass, as I said. We do, however, have a metal frame here at the back that's supporting the door hinges. Uh, this is all fiberglass here, this bit's metal. We've got metal um, panels here because obviously you wouldn't want fiberglass getting smacked in the lower sections. And then behind here, we've got an access avoid to our rear lights and the wiring extension to the rear lights. Considering the huge height of these doors, they still shut with a quite a reassuring slam and don't rattle too much. So yeah, it's all pretty good quality really. So due to that additional bodywork, uh, the payload in these is slightly less than the standard ENV 200 van. And uh, in terms of range, I don't think there's a much of a difference in range. Uh, I haven't driven this long enough to be able to tell, but just looking at the guesser meter and the uh, economy meter on the dash, uh, it's about the same. So I don't think there's any significant drop in range. That uh, roof extension uh, is quite uh, curved. Um, and it's probably reasonably aerodynamic. Uh, certainly they aren't an awful lot noisier than the normal van. Um, and if there is a drop in range, I think it's quite minimal. And in reality, you would probably uh, see a, a bigger drop with your day-to-day -day driving anyway. Uh, difference in driving styles and weather and temperature and all that sort of stuff. So if it is, uh, these do have a less range, I think it's quite minimal and maybe only around five miles or so. So this van is a 2017, it's got the 24 kilowatt hour pack, as I said, uh, but when I met Voltia at the commercial vehicle show, they were only offering the 40 kilowatt hour pack. So that was probably at the time when Nissan were going from the 24s to the 40 packs anyway. So this would have been one of the very earliest vans that they converted. Um, and I probably said this didn't get done in the UK. This got uh, shipped over to uh, Slovakia. Uh, they did the conversion and brought it back to the UK. So it would have cost a lot of money at the time. And uh, this is the very first Voltia for sale on the used market in the UK. Uh, I've actually bought four of these. Uh, the others are coming soon. I went to the uh, company that are running them. Uh, they have a few on the fleet and these are coming off the lease. So I chose the uh, best vehicles of the bunch. Um, and uh, they, they're currently all leased, but they're just coming off lease, as I said. Um, so most vehicles, most vans are leased longer than three years. So um, that's why we're just not going to see very many of these yet, um, because most commercial vehicles generally get leased for the full five years. And the rest of it is all standard EMV 200. They don't make any further modifications to the cab or the front. And on the inside, they've obviously also retained the reversing camera, which is a godsend now with this extra long body. So uh, I think that's uh, pretty much everything covered. Um, actually, I just realized that one of the largest electric vans next to one of the smallest electric vans. But uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful. If you've liked the video, please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube because that really does help and it allows other people to find the videos and find the channel. 
and uh, if you want to see more EV videos please do subscribe and hit that little bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video.